Hello, welcome to Ellie B Toys. Do you have mini dolls that you just want to look at all the time? You love them that much. I certainly do. Though you, I, you guys often ask me, Ellie, what's your favorite mini doll? Or what's your favorite Lego Friends character? I honestly couldn't choose because they all have got some fabulous attributes and things that I love about, well, all of them. So I got my husband to knock me up a shadow box frame and I have glued three by two white bricks on it. Evenly spaced out, I had to do a whole heap of measuring and I ordered the bricks from the pick a brick on the Lego shop site. So I ordered a whole, a whole heap of white bricks. So I could display and hang up on the walls the mini dolls that I want to have quick access to or I particularly just want to see all the time. So let me show you around my Lego display up at the top so that it's further away from little fingers of my children because I don't really want these ones played all the time with. These are my customized dolls. So this is the very first one that I customized for the Lego friends competition for the forest and here's Belle and yes I know the two colors don't match I've got to repaint her top at some stage so that it actually matches the skirt uh, and my Alice mini doll I love her so much I was so proud of making her a whole skirt and a whole apron <laughs> and making the pattern up too and my Jojo Siwa doll with her beautifully glittery skirt and her enormous bow and of course Cat Noir and his bell's enormous but that's all right it's it's all kind of just an artist's interpretation if you haven't seen any of these DIY videos they're all on my channel I have made all of these in video for you so you can if you haven't seen them you can check them out and of course Cat Noir is nestled in next to Ladybug because we've got to keep them together and here are our descendants two characters we've got Mel and we've got Evie and I just love how Evie turned out. I actually love how both of them turned out. And there's an empty spot here waiting for Uma in her cotillion dress. So that will come, I promise. And over here is the ballerina and the tutu that we made out of air drying clay, which is really, really super easy. Make sure you check that one out if you haven't already. And the Harry Potter mini dolls that I've only just customized and I'm very proud of them. Now, down here, are some Lego originals. This one is Livy, obviously we love Livy. We'd love to see Livy the pop star quite a bit more, but I've got one Livy up here on my display case. And here are the five Lego Friends girls in their original form with some of my favorite outfits on. They are all holding things that they have obviously bought at the fun fair and they just look really fun up there. <laughs> I love this girl. I love her, how she's exploding out of the cake and I love her hair. So she always sits up here. And here are my five customized Lego friends girls in their Hogwarts costumes and Mia with her painted hair with the color that it actually is in the cartoon now down here we've got some more of the Lego friends girls the metallic series and Vicky who is a new character for this series and she's hanging out over here for a reason and I'll show you why I like to keep her nice and close by here is one of my fairy dolls which I haven't actually done a video for yet I I will get to it I promise but sh you're gonna love it I think they should have fairies in the Lego mini dolls and the parents so we've got Olivia's parents and Stephanie's parents and Emma's parents they are up here on the display board so I can find them nice and easily Sophie and Henry and their customized forms including uh, including all the pregnant ladies here Oh, the pregnant ladies, there. So they stay up here so they stay nice and safe so they don't get tumbled around just in my other mini dolls. The hairdress is up here too because we often need her for makeovers <laughs> and Dr. Patel's there as well. Now, I have got almost all the characters from the new go-karting sets. They are in their go-kart outfits. We've got Olivia and Andrea and Mia and we're missing Emma so far. I'll open that one and build that one soon. And Stephanie and Vicky and I love to keep Vicky up here because she's got a marvelously expressive face and I like to be able to find it easily when I'm setting up little scenes for the mini dolls. Now, you might notice that I have lined all these girls up. We've got Olivia's in a row, Andrea's, Mia's, Emma's, we're missing one and Stephanie's and our little Vicky's as well down here. So that way I can really easily find them. Now, next I have got a whole heap of exclusives of the DC Superhero Girls and the Disney Princesses, some that have only ever come in one set or my favorite version of that particular mini doll. So like Lashina here, she only came in one set with Lashina in the tank, so there's only one of her. Eclipso only came in one set, Eclipso's Dark Tower. Batgirl came in a couple of sets, but this is my favorite version of her. 
She looks so cute like that. And Supergirl and the Superdog. I like to keep them all here together. Now this is my favourite version of Harley Quinn. She's actually got the hair from the mini figure series from the Harley Quinn and the little nurse's hat that comes once again on the mini figure series. But I think it looks really good on the mini doll because I just love that hair piece. I think it's just so cute. And same thing with Poison Ivy. She only came in one set too. And I've actually swapped out the mini figure hair to put it on the mini doll because I think it looks marvellous. She's also got a really expressive face too. I love that. I love having these new dolls with expressive faces. And this is my favourite version of Wonder Woman. There are actually two of them and this one is my favourite. She's got her lasso of truth, she's got her shield and she just is shiny and sparkly and perfect. I love her, I love Wonder Woman. And Bumblebee also only came in one set. I was so sad that the Superhero Girl sets were discontinued, so make sure you get your hands on them if you can. And Lena Luthor actually came in a couple of sets, but her face is awesome. She's got the best cranky face, and her purple pants kind of look like a droopy purple nappy, and that just makes me laugh every time I look at it. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Moving further down here, we've got a whole heap of elves, specifically the villains. They're all together. We've got the Goblin King and Regana and Noctura and some of the Disney character villains too. We've got Maleficent and Ursula are all hanging out here together so I can easily find them. And down here are some of the rarer elves. I love Rosalind. She is easily my favourite elf to date. I love her hair. I love her colour scheme. I love everything about her and I only have one of her. Uh, Titus, I've actually got two Tituses, but I keep him up here so I can find him. We've got a couple of Lumias, but look, um, Sira is exclusive. She only came in one set. She's the only elf with this hair. In fact, this is the only time we've seen this hair mold. Well, sorry, this hair mold in these colors, and I, I love it, and I keep her up here. Sophie Jones has only come in two sets so far, and she comes with two different faces for each set. And her other face is currently sitting in my sorted Lego, and I'm going to show you that in a new video very soon. <laughs> Lastly, other Disney princess characters and some of these have got multiple of the same characters. There are so many Cinderella's and so many Anna's and so many Elsa's, but there are others that are, have only got one of, so I make sure I keep them here where I can find them. And the other characters, I've got one of each, in my favorite form. So here I've got Anna. This is my absolute favorite outfit of hers. It's just as stunning. And look at that, it has detail on the back. Lego is so lazy with their mini dolls. They don't often put detail on the back, but we've got that on this one. Elsa, lots of Elsas, but this is my current favorite outfit. She even is wearing the Ice Queen crown that came from one of the mini figure packs. So it doesn't actually belong to Elsa, but I think it should really belong to her. There is only one set with Jasmine in it, so she's pretty Pretty precious and Eric in his fancy fancy prince outfit and with Max his dog who only so far comes in one set and Mulan is currently only featured in one set same with Merida and Belle actually no Belle is actually in a junior set now but I haven't got it yet and the Beast only comes in one set too and his cute little face with the orange eyebrows that's I, I don't have another one of those so I keep that up here so I can find it. Now, so many Cinderella's, but this is my current favorite outfit and favorite head. <laughs> I'll show you the others later. There are two Rapunzel's, but there are new sets, so we'll check them out. This one's my favorite so far. Two Moana's in different outfits, but once again, my favorite one currently. Now, lots and lots of Ariel's, but I like the Ariel hair that came with the minifigure, and she likes to hang out here with her ball gown version <laughs> as well. And a Snow White, only one Snow White so far. There are actually a couple of Aurora's now, but I prefer the original face. And the Fairy Godmother, well, she's definitely an exclusive, but I think you should always keep your Fairy Godmother nice and close. So she's where I can always find her too. So this is my display as it currently stands. It, it gets changed around depending upon who my favorites are at certain times. And the outfits change too, depending upon new ones that are released and what I like more, what I don't want to have up on display anymore. But it's nice to have them right here where I can look at them all the time and I can find them really easily and I know they are safe. Now, that little space where Emma is supposed to be is <laughs> it's driving me insane. So I will build that set very soon and fill up that empty space. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you check out some of my other videos because there will be new builds and there will be some new videos coming up very, very soon. So I will see you then. Bye.